This is Jack. In this short video, we're going to give you a basic introduction to event log consolidation and monitoring using SpectreSoft Server Manager. Server Manager includes a sample event log consolidation template that consolidates the application, system, and security logs, enabling you to quickly assign to multiple computers. The sample template can be found within the Object Explorer under the Templates, then Sample Templates node. The template is called Event Log Consolidation and Monitoring. Let's go ahead now and look at the template properties. The General tab enables you to configure the frequency by which you want to download the log files. The default schedule runs once an hour. Notice the word range in the name of the schedule. This type of schedule evenly distributes event log download times over the hour between multiple assigned computers, thus minimizing bottlenecks. The Logs tab enables you to select the target event logs that you want to consolidate and monitor. If you select the computer under the Servers slash Workstations control, Server Manager will discover and display the event logs that exist on that computer. Once you've selected the logs, select the Consolidation and Monitoring tab. This tab enables you to filter entries from consolidation as well as apply filters and actions after a download is complete. We call these post-consolidation filters. That is, filters that are run immediately after entries are consolidated. For example, if you want to receive an email with all error entries between each download, you want to create a post-consolidation filter and assign the email address you would like to receive the results. Please note that only entries that pass the consolidation filter are considered by the post-consolidation filters. For optimal performance, we suggest users only use post-consolidation filters on mission-critical computers for specific logs. As an alternative, to receive a report of event log error messages, we suggest creating an event log report that is scheduled once a day, giving you time to resolve issues prior to the next batch of messages. If you're interested in real-time monitoring, Server Manager includes another type of template to accomplish this task that's called Event Log Monitoring. Now let's assign this template to some computers. From the Template Assignments pane on the right, select from the list of available computers or click the Add Computer button. You may also create groups and assign your computers to those groups, then assign templates to the groups, which may make things easier for you. Notice the computer I selected has been added to the list. Now we're done and I'll click close to save my changes. So now rather than wait for the logs to be downloaded on their own, I'm going to manually trigger Server Manager to download the entries so that we can see what happens and view the consolidated entries. I chose to execute with verbose output so we could see the progress. However, if I had just chosen Execute Now, we could view our progress from the Service Output window. Now let's take a look at some of these entries. When loading a log file from the log repository, you'll be prompted to pre-select a filter prior to the software loading the viewer. Select any filters you would like, or no filters at all, and then click OK. And now you can see the consolidated log entries. Now, let's go ahead and create a template from scratch so you can see what it's doing. We will configure this template to collect the directory services event log from the computers in our domain controllers group. First, I will name the new template appropriately. I'm going to leave the execution frequency at the default, which is the one hour range schedule. On the logs tab, I will select the log file that I want server manager to consolidate. In this case, I'm going to select only the directory service log. Server manager supports any event log, even if it's a custom event log that one of your third party applications created. We want to consolidate all entries from the directory service log. However, we could use the consolidation filter to configure Server Manager to only save log entries that meet a particular criteria. For example, only consolidate warning and error events. Like I said though, we want to save all entries. Another option though would be to save them all, but have Server Manager notify us when it encounters any that are warnings or errors. This would be accomplished using the post consolidated filters and actions. This configuration, if applied, would have Server Manager send me an email each time it encounters an event that is a warning or error. There are several other options on this dialog that allow you to fine tune this behavior. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to discard the post consolidation filter configuration. The last thing that we're going to configure are the template assignments. In the previous example, we added a host directly to the assignments. This time, I'm going to assign this template to a host group 
that already contains my domain controllers. Now I'll click OK and save this template. Just like before, I will ask Server Manager to go and consolidate the log files now, rather than wait for the next scheduled consolidation. And the last thing we will do is view the consolidated log entries from our domain controllers. This time, we will view the logs from both of our domain controllers together. And now reviewing the directory service event log from both of our domain controllers.